<laughs> Howdy y'all, um, as they say in Texas. Um, so I know I'm all smiles right now, but <laughs> funny story. Once upon a time, I bought a diesel heater and it didn't work. So all seriousness, um, I bought this diesel heater. This was the same one that I put in my van, I thought, but looking back, the one I put in my van was five kilowatts. I never had any issues with it. It was perfectly fine. And then I thought that this was the same exact one, but when I looked it up, this one's actually eight kilowatts. And not that that even matters really, I don't know. But the thing is, is hooked it up, powered on everything, and I didn't really even test it truly for a while. Testing it meaning I put fuel in it and started it. And so when I finally did that, um, basically it would turn on the control panel and it would start um, doing its thing. And the pump, the little picture of the pump would come on and it would pump for about a minute and a half to two minutes and then it would say error and shut off and so i triple checked that it was hooked up correctly and it was <clears throat> and so i was like you know i don't know what else to do like isaac what do you think i should do and so isaac came and looked at it and from what we can gather we unhooked the um we unhooked the fuel line from one side of the fuel pump to see if it was first of all we took the filter off to see if it was the filter um wasn't the filter so then we unhooked one side of the fuel pump and uh, basically the fuel would go to the pump and not come out the other end so as you can see you can kind of see the fuel in the actual line well we disconnected it so as you can see here it's not connected at all and no fuel was coming out of this side of the pump so with that being said as far as we can gather it's the fuel pump that's not working and i did try and look up the this just the, just the fill pump to see if I could uh, buy just that part and get away with replacing only that part. And while I did find some fuel pumps, they weren't the same um, brand. <clears throat> and also, they were all the 5 kilowatt pumps. So I couldn't find one that was 8 kilowatts. So with that being said, I bought another one. <laughs> So what we're gonna be doing today is basically replacing the diesel heater. And what I'm gonna be doing differently this time is it'll all be hooked up the same. I'm gonna take that thing out, put the other one in, and um, I think this fuel tank is actually bigger, so I'm gonna be keeping that. But I'm gonna route the fuel tank over to the back side, and I won't be um, attaching it to the wall just yet because I still have some stuff to do to that wall. But it will be over there so that when I go get fuel, I can just open up the back door and I'll be able to fill it up right then and there. And I won't have to keep a gas tank inside, even though I can, um, but it will be basically, so this will be cabinetry over here on this side and it'll be the farthest cabinet. It'll be um, basically like on a little elevation, like a two by four or something so that the little corner piece is not flat on the ground because it is at an angle um, where the fuel goes out of the tank. And it'll have like a little cubby door that I can just open up, fill it up and then close it. So it's closed off, can't even see it. And um, it's just more aesthetically pleasing, but it's in a great spot compared to being up there where it was gonna be in the first place. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes 
Thanks to sun, go to sleep every night. And what's it dreaming of? Okay, so I've disconnected everything from underneath the bus. And basically I'm gonna leave the exhaust where it's at and reuse it. And uh, I think I might move or shorten the filter so that it's not hanging down. I'm gonna be moving this out of the way, but I'm gonna leave it hooked up to the pump so that it doesn't leak the fuel right now. I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's. So it looks like it might have had some type of leak or something. I don't know. I mean, there's definitely an issue going on there. Just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. this back up this comes out and connects to the pump here then we have this coming out over here and then our fuel line from the pump goes up inside all right so now we are going to get everything hooked up on the inside squared away and we're gonna run that fuel line all the way over there.
it is about that time where we connect everything and uh, see if it works. See if I messed up or not, pretty much. Okay, okay. Now, let's see here. Okay. Okay, moment of truth. I have everything connected. We'll see if it turns on. I just have it temporarily connected to a 12 volt. And uh, yeah, well, let's go. Um, I didn't put the vent on yet because <laughs> I don't even know if this is gonna work. We have power, so let's give it a minute to uh, pump just started and it's got a little ways to go to get back into here so I'm gonna let that do its thing and then I will let you guys know in just a second one if it airs out on me or if it gets hot let's hope it gets hot so while the fuel was making its way over here I took the time to clean up Hey, Halo, you want to say hi? You want to say hi? And so um, I had to turn it off and on a couple of times to really let it move all the way through. But we are on like the third time. It is getting warm. And uh, the pump is working. It made its way all the way to the heater. And it is warming up big time. <laughs> it's really kicking in now. No, I have heat. I officially have heat. So it's warming up now, finally. Um, oh my goodness, this feels so good. I was so stressed out. And another thing too, for anyone who may be having the prop, same problem, the 12 volt charger that I had before was just one that I bought from an AutoZone. And I think it was just not strong enough because it would overheat and cause this to error out. And But this time the battery light was flashing. So I was wondering if that's what it was. So I switched it out to one that Isaac has that is a lot thicker than the one that I have. And uh, solid golden it's really really it's really really blowing warm now I don't have it on full blast I just have it on like kind of medium I guess but I can smell the um, it kind of smells like it's burning and that's usually what it smells like once it uh, the first time you run it and it starts going through the heater and it usually stays like that the first few times you run it but that smell eventually goes away uh, it's just I don't know why but it just does that um, but y'all I'm so thankful and so happy that this worked and I'm keeping all the extra parts and all the old parts uh, just in case if I ever need them or if Isaac ever needs them we have them but I officially have heat thank you Jesus um, so now that that's taken care of and out of the way, the next project I was going to do was this front whole area here, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and on the back two walls, I'm going to cedar panel them and I'm going to go ahead and just do that and not worry about the door necessarily, but just the walls so that I can go ahead and box in the fuel tank and secure it to the wall. Um, once everything's cedar paneled so that I'm not having to worry about working around that. And then that way I can also drive and make sure that the fuel tank is safe and it's not going anywhere. As of right now with it like that, I can't drive it like that. But once it's secure, I'll be able to drive it. So that's probably what I'll do tomorrow. Um, 
And yeah, it's so warm now. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I was so stressed out about this. Like, these are $200, which is not a whole lot of money in the grand scheme of things, but when you're on a budget and building, to have to buy another one is really, really stressful. But I'm so, so thankful and so happy that this one is working. So I officially have heat, which means I can take this bad boy once that's um, secured. I could take the peach on some trips and just like camp out and, you know, with an air mattress or just throw my mattress in here. But we'll see how much building I get done before I take it on its first trip. I've just been really, really wanting to go somewhere um, in it. So we'll see. But I'm really excited to have the heat working it's a huge weight off of my shoulders that I'm just so grateful for. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I do not recommend the heater that I, the last heater I put in mine. This diesel heater is the one that Isaac recommends that he just put inside of Bussy. I didn't have any issues with it. Um, it's working great and I'm just so thankful. So this is the one that I suggest that you get if you are considering getting a Chinese diesel heater. It's $160 and it's working fabulously, no issues. So I will leave this uh, link to this in the description and just, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to continue on this build and I'll see you guys on the next video. So